to how we enforce uh, left associativity and precedence in a context free grammar so first of all we know what is actually associativity uh, as you know in arithmetic expressions like 2 plus 3 staring 5 division 6 plus 4 it has uh, four different operators and we know uh, different operators have different precedence like division and uh, multiplication have higher precedence as compared to plus let's say it is minus plus and minus so in this case first of all we solve the operator with higher precedence like you know steric and division have same precedence similarly plus and minus have same precedence so this is called precedent that we solve this first then we solve this but within the same uh, operator of same precedence how can what should be the order of computation so if the operators have the same precedence like plus and minus have same precedence and steric and we have same precedence we will compute it from left to right and that is called left associativity so now we create a cfg uh, first where we will uh, make sure that the computations are left associative it means they are the computations are made from left to right and the operators with higher precedence are solved first so uh, let's say uh, let's write cfg for simple arithmetic expression first so e goes to e plus e catering plus sign catering minus sign catering uh, multiplication and division and let's say ending at a number so this is a generic cfg and here in this cfg we have not catered the concept of left associativity and precedence. so let's say let's see what ambiguities or problems are in this cfg so let's see let's say we have a simple example of 2 plus 3 plus 6 so in this case we have two operators uh, actually uh, two plus operators and which have the same precedence so in this case what should be the right order of computation the right order of computation is from left to right so first of all we should solve 2 plus 3 and then we should, should solve 3 plus 6 so but in this cfg uh, we can violate this rule and we have to uh, modify this cfg so that this rule is not violated so let's see let's draw a parse tree for this uh, string using this cfg so we start from e and this e will go to uh, e plus e and from this e let's say we drive an other e plus e and from here from this e let's say we drive 3 6 and 2 so in this tree as you can see that this 2 will come here 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 will come here so 9 plus 1 will be 10 although the answer is quite right quite correct but the order of computation is not correct because here we have computed 6 and 3 first then we computed this 2 so this is not a correct tree as uh, according to the uh, rules of arithmetic computations so we have to ensure that the operator on the left side is solved first then the operator of the uh, right side so we modify this cfg so that this rule is implemented so for this what we will do we will make sure that tree grows only on the left side so the rule is so the method is so we can uh, ensure left associativity if the tree grows 
only on the left side so for this we make a change and that change would be we remove this recursion on the right side so we will this from so this way we will be able to grow the tree only on the left side so we remove e from here so we can only grow the tree on the from the left side so now if you draw a tree for this expression what the there will be only one tree and that would be e goes to uh, e plus f now we cannot grow that tree further on the right side because f is converted into number so we write here save and we will use this variable to grow the tree further and let's say it will become e plus e and this e goes to 2 and this e goes to sorry this e goes to f it also becomes f and f goes to 2 this f goes to 3 so in this tree uh, when you solve this tree you know first of all we will compute this 2 and 3 answer will be 5 which will come here 6 will come here and the answer that is the 11 will be here So this way we can ensure the left associativity. So the next question is about precedence and uh, still this CFG has a problem because it has uh, both plus and minus operators and static and division operators at the same level and when they are at the same level then uh, there will be sometimes you know uh, we will see the uh, wrong answers, wrong computations. So, for instance, I show you one example. Let's say we have uh, an expression, simple expression like 2 plus 3 static 5. So, using this CFG, if we build a parse tree from this string, it will be like E goes to like it's our uh, it's our choice we can either produce plus or static and i want to show you the uh, scenario where we will come uh, end up with a wrong answer and this way if i drive e goes to e static e static f sorry and from this f you know we will drive 5 from this e we will drive e plus f this f will become 3 from this e we will drive f it will become 2 so in this case as you have seen that we are we will compute this 2 plus 3 first and will be 5 and their answer will be multiplied with this 5 and that is a wrong answer because you know uh, multiplication has higher precedence as compared to plus so this should be computed first so uh, to ensure the uh, right order of computation in case of uh, operators having different precedence we will modify this CFG again Let's modify it again and draw a tree again. So in this way, let's first define the rule to uh, ensure the right order of computation according to the practice. rewrite the CFG so that it, ha it, ha it has different levels so we will 
create a CFG and it split it into a different levels so that on the higher level uh, of the tree the operators of with less pressure will be computed and on the lower level of the tree or you can say at the bottom of the tree these operators should be derived so automatically those operators which are at the bottom of the tree will be computed first and those operators which are on the higher level which will be computed uh, at last so let's rewrite this cfg it will be <clears throat> so i split this cfg into two levels in this level on the first level we will drive plus and minus because they have lowest uh, precedence and from f on the second level we will drive static let's say from f G. and finally that g will converge into numbers so now this cfg has gated associativity as well as precedence so now if we drive a tree for this cf using this cfg for this expression we are bound uh, that plus will be derived first because on the first line the, from the starting variable we have only uh, uh, the plus and minus operators so we start from e goes to e plus f and uh, now that you know this f can be further used to drive static and division so we use f into f static and g this g will be end up at 5 will have to go to f will go to g and g go to 3 and this e will go to f and g and so on to 2 so now you can see that this 2 will come here here and here and first of all we will compute this 3 to 5 that is 15 and 15 will come over here so finally this 15 will be added up to 2 resulting in the answer 17 so this is the correct answer so this way we uh, can have uh, ensure the presence and left associativity in context free grammar bye